Hey guys and gals, it's Sweet Project Cars here with cool trick and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer and the simple ways. Today we are going up underneath the SUV on our rust proofing video. Alright, first thing we're going to do, scrape off any loose material and you're going to need your paint scraper, wire brush. Now this is going to be very difficult to do shooting the video and doing the job at the same time. We're going to do our best with it. So you'll take your paint scraper, wipe off all this stuff here. This is supposedly GM's version of rust proofing. That's why you need safety glasses. That's why I wear the suit and all that. And basically you got to scrape off everything you don't want hanging there. All that garbage like this. I'm going to clean it up good and then I'll be back when we're ready to start spraying because the cleaning of the garbage off of everything is pretty self-explanatory. You just want to get this off. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, we cleaned it up pretty good and we're now going to take our sweet project car super duper telescooper air nozzle and blow out as much of it as we can. So plug your ears, it's going to get loud. Start buying your products now. It won't be such a financial drain on you to do it. Get yourself a gallon or two. Buy a gallon one week, a gallon the next week. Get your kit the following week. That kind of thing. That way you can have all the stuff there ready to go at it. And you'll be glad that you did this. I'm telling you, especially if you care about your vehicle and plan on keeping it. So let's get busy. All right, the first tool that we're going to use is the nozzle with all the holes in it. Sprayer on. First we want to check it and get it coming out. There it is. We'll move over here. Over here. Do every hole you see. If it's a big surface area like this is right here, go slow when you're coming back out so that it gets a chance to really coat it. Now you gotta stick with me because I'm sure I'm going to get out of camera a little bit because there's so much area up here, but I'm going to try to do my best. We may end up taking that smiley face and turning it upside down. Now, when I was talking to you about seams, this is what I'm talking about. That seam right there, very important when you get your other sprayer nozzle on that you hold it right tight against that and really inject it into that seam the best you can. Right here over that way because it's pretty much all the same stuff on that side. So I'm going to just do this side. Now 
Now this is the dirty part of the job, getting into all the holes here, the cracks and crevices, the spring with the regular spray nozzle and covering all this out here, that's the easy part. We will get into where I couldn't go very deep in here. We'll shove that up in there. All right. Got it. Now we're going to put our nozzle on that we built and do all the top horizontal areas that we cannot get our head up there to see. I had one of our subscribers go, I can't wait till you, till you get down and dirty underneath that truck on the uh, next video. And uh, definitely what it is, down and dirty. You can do this outside as well. It is an environmentally safe product. Okay, we're gonna have it come out quite heavy. There we go. Now, I can get right up here. All right, now we'll take our tool off. Here's the seam right here. This is what I want you to do. Just like that. Now hopefully you can see this because the camera's taking a beating big time. Okay, now we're going to put our regular nozzle on. And a lot of this video is to give you the confidence that you can do this yourself. Okay, now we're ready for this. Time to change bottles. We keep an extra one. And when they're full, halfway full, you can uh, turn it on its side and almost turn it upside down and it'll still, still keep coming out. We're gonna do the spare tire holder and make sure you spray both sides of your spare tire rim. Got it guys and gals, hopefully you can see it good. The dust and dirt landed on the camera, so hopefully you, you got a good idea on it. It's not a clean job, it's a dirty job, but I suggest doing it to your vehicle as soon as you can. Get a power washer, clean up as much of it underneath as you can. The underneath is the dirtiest part of the whole job. The door jams and the rockers and that are all simple, but I just, doing this allows me to help you do something on your own and not have to pay other people to do it. And do a little bit at a time. You don't have to do it all at one time, okay? It's pretty simple, but it's dirty, and not every job is clean, that's for sure. It's cost effective. Other products out there, are around, we know that, but we're using the most popular system and the most popular rust proofer known to man when it comes to this type of uh, do-it-yourself thing. So hopefully this helps. This was just a little dot right here and look how much it's soaked in. That's why this stuff is so powerful. Let's take a look at another couple other spots that I did. 
And this is actually on a trailer that we're going to be doing for a customer. I put a little spot right there. And look at this, how dark that is. See how light this one is over here? That's how much it soaked right through the rust and has stopped it. Here's another one right here. And you can still see the glob that I put there. But look how much that's absorbed into the metal and the rust. Same with that one. 